Sziasztok, volt egy a Minecraft Story módot, és ilyet a második epizód. Nos, az első részben ez a részt a Tamából. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary things. And go on journeys they only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains: Will it be enough to save the world? We did it to me, Elagard. Damn you! have taken to do this automated train tracks running all through the nether connecting all the different order members and imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand wire and redstone with the other at least I'll get to meet Eligard that is definitely a big win in the plus column if we don't get the order back together the witherstorm is going to eat everything we're gonna get to Eligard's, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh, Jesse! Who is it? Hide! Great! More gas! Yeah, Do something about the gas. Okay, think fast, Jesse. What to choose? So long as you really know what you're doing with it. Okay, we're all set to go again. Hitting the power tracks now. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. I never doubted you for a second, but but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign, Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come. That's the key. Redstonia, I'm going to go. We're about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow. Eligard's really capital city of engineering. Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Yeah. Yo, Gendish. Story mode,
value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. He's Jesse, trying to go. There she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. Command block, got the Continue working. Continue building. And whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. What? Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Uh, crap. Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But look at you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Eligard. But I'm still pretty cool. Ah, oh, that's right. Oh, no. Just please let us in. Can't you make an exception? No, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year. I must tell you. And Eligard isn't one for appointments. We came here to recruit Eligard to help us beat a monster. Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. Of course, you might also want to hang on to it. No way. Gabriel gave this amulet to me. No way am I parting with it. Well, fine then. I don't have time for this. I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Oh, that shit. I guess we'll need to get another repeater. Repeater, right. okay. I don't know, okay, to your with the EP favorite. Lopo. Let's see. Nah, he's done this. Hello! Why, hey there! I'm Sandy, and what you see before you is the future. The future kind of looks like a lump of slime blocks. Ah, don't let the looks deceive you. This here is a genuine flying machine. Wow, so I guess you don't mind heights then? I'd be a little scared going way up in the sky like that. Huh, yeah. Scared? Who's scared? I'm not scared of heights at all. I'm lying. I'm totally terrified of them. Do you want to fly? What can I say? The heart wants what the heart wants. Flying machine, huh? Does it actually... You better believe it, but um, only straight up for now. Any chance you've got a spare repeater? Sorry, no dice. Well, I'll leave you to it. Looks like you've got a lot of work to do. Well, good chatting with you, but I better get back to work. Those skies aren't going to explore themselves. After the person is. Stupid cow launching. <laughs> <clears throat> You must be here to see my incredible auto farm. Why waste time planting sugarcane when it could be planting itself? 
You got a repeater? Sorry, already used all mine. I got some redstone torches, though. Auto farming, huh? What's the deal with that? Oh, it's real simple. Planting sugarcane takes time. With my system, that's time you save and put right back in your rhetorical time pocket. I'll just be going then. If you need a better way to plant sugarcane, you know where to look. Oh, she's driving me nuts with that. Sheesh. Yeah, I can see that. Listen, if you could do something about that whole situation, I'll hook you up with some primo crafting stuff. Deal? I'll see what I can do. Oh, man, I bet you could make a lot of cookies with all that. Level with me. Do you just make cookies, like, all the time? Huh. I, I might make a cookie or two. Yeah, you do. Oh, I love cookies. Notice you checking out my cowapult, friend. It's got an easy-to-use lever right there. So feel free to fling a cow, or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first. <gasps> oh, believe me, you will love it. I've never known a cow not to like it, especially the ones that survive. Of course not. Pig, you're seriously missing out here. Okay, you. Congratulations! You've just managed to catapult a cow for no apparent reason. That's <laughs> oh, a I've really got to see Eligard. Oh, I see. Trying to prove how much you want the spot as her protege so I'll be intimidated? <laughs> well, it's not working. I'll just be going then. If you need a better way to plant sugarcane, you know where to look. Stone. Still warm. Hi there. What? what? Look, you're gonna have to speak up there. Oh, I just said hi. Much better. What can I do for you? You wanna see my TNT cannon? You say something? Speak up now! How does your machine work? Still a work in progress, but eventually it'll launch people high into the air so they can see for miles around. Cool, theoretically. Do you have a repeater I could use? Sorry, none of those to spare. I like you, sport. Here, have some redstone dust. Dust from a strange man. Cool. Huh, something must not be right. Oh man, he oh, he took the repeater. Why does everyone have to make this difficult? Safe! Duck! Watch your language, Missy! Bosses. Huh. 
mondani, de hogyan például egy kis szintén, itt a jó kérdés. Szerintem már a crafting tény. Van nálam három ilyen, még három olyan. Hey! Have you seen all these inventions? These inventors are all incredible. So, crafting a repeater, how do you do that? We need three stone, two redstone torches, and one pile of redstone dust to make one. Seems like this place has really blown you away. You're not kidding. This is like everything I've ever dreamed of. I would have thought you'd be up in people's faces, talking about inventions. I want to, but I'm a little worried. I might know Redstone where we come from, but these people are the real deal, Jesse. I mean, I don't even know how they're making some of these things. That's rare for me. Ah, gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to open the dome. I'll see what I can do to help. Exactly, have a wide spectrum of emotion, so it's hard to tell if they're happy or traumatized. <laughs> so very high. Sorry. That's okay. Now that the fear has completely paralyzed me, I'm almost enjoying myself. Tell your friends about my invention. Spent ages on it. Wow. Wonder how high it'll go. This one is spectacular. Nothing worth a shot, I guess. What? I have no idea how it works, but that is pretty amazing. How's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely the sort of creation that Elagard's future protege might make, no? Need a hand with anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer, uh, but I'm doing just fine, thanks. So long as that dunderhead sticks over there. What am I looking at, exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. 
perfect fusion of my two loves, cows and music. Hildegard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. Just stay away from that little uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. Ooh, lava curtain. That is flashy. Hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty. But some people just aren't as great as I am. And some people I did. Need a hand with anything? <laughs> oh, you, you're, you're serious? <laughs> Hilarious. No, from you? No. But, but, why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Eligard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. Been real chatty with that disco friend of yours. What's he been telling you about me, huh? He's just jealous. Doesn't think I deserve to be Eligard's protege. Which I will be, obviously. Is this idea yours? Like, a hundred percent? Because he kind of says that you steal your ideas. All of them. <laughs> no good, dirty... Ugh, disco freak! I've got a bone to pick with you! Steal all my ideas, huh? That's what you're telling people. Guess I just call him like I see him. Oh, you are just... Ugh. <laughs> uh, something's gone wrong with the clock circuit. Uh, the lava isn't switching with the water. Oh, no. Your amazing invention. You. You did this. Hey, I am not taking credit for any of this. That machine's been a cow death trap since block one. Oh, my cows. My poor cows. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Nähti ova malinko lupasta. Nyt se taakse mit. Katon kesti tente. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Switch is on. Okay, good, good. Switch is on. That doesn't seem super useful. Working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Bam! Door open. No, I was just going to go to the center. I'm not going to Wow! Here it is. Eligard's Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. Wow, it's not bad, man. Stone stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. Oh, yeah. God, what are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities.
Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man, look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients, it must be something really, really big. Come on, just keep moving. That's awesome. Are those bats? Yeah. She even has that circuit. Oh, that's good. Well, thank you, bud. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request. Operational. Oh, Delivery tato. latency? Speedy. Still talking to myself? Yep. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's rock this block with another test. Whoa! Hi! Hey! Didn't see you sneaking up on me. Yes, got the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupid and adorable pig, that is. <laughs> Jesse? She thinks we're her new assistants. Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you. Goggle girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy, grab me a blaze rod and an iron <laughs> goggle. Rod. She wants me to Stop. do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. Oh, wow. Now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Olivia? Olivia, can you hear me? I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Ugh, so embarrassing. Everything working over... Ooh. Hmm. Fine, I'll just do it myself then. Another bust. Now, about you three. Uh, your friend here. Does she fall over frequently? Is this gonna be a regular occurrence? I... No. I'm sorry. I was just so excited to... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts, I could have tripped over you and conked my brain. Brilliant thoughts gone. <laughs> I could see that. <laughs> Is this a silent agreement sort of thing? We actually aren't here to be your assistants. Oh? We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm and it's attacking the entire world. Everyone. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who, who sent you? Was it Calvin? 
Calvin? Gabriel sent me. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. Ooh, I'm so close, I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory with a side of sweet, sweet redstone engineering. I know that making a command block probably seems like a great idea, but you really don't want to do that. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra genius level stuff here. You've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. Ugh, sorry to bust your circuits, but the Order isn't really together anymore. We, uh, sort of disassembled. That's actually kind of so why we're here. Uh, see it, Gabriel's amulet. This certainly changes things. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Yes, he gave it to me so that I could find the order. Yes, this is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this Witherstorm monster thing or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. No, you can't do that! Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic. Nagyon erősen, nagyon erősen figyelj! Ne hibáz! Ó, 
Ну тут. Dry. This way. Jesse. Go. What's that? I know you're okay. I know you're okay. Fantastic. Quick, come on. You guys are never going to believe who showed up while you were gone. Gabriel. Gabriel. Hello, everyone. It is good to see you. He showed up not too long before you guys. Elagard, my old friend. Boy, are you a sight for sore eyes. Maybe with you here, we actually stand a chance against this thing. How I've missed your optimistic spirit. Oh, and it's especially good to see you, Jesse. I fear that you might be the last face I ever saw. Getting here was hard. I don't understand. How did you escape? Yes, it did. If you hadn't pulled me out of the Witherstorm's clutches, well, let's just not think about that. Uh, Petra and the Maskipahaven. Hoping against hope to find other survivors. Makes me glad that even in these terrible times, this temple can stand as a stronghold, a symbol. Wow, did Petra get away too? Did you see? All that creature left in its wake was bedrock. All those people, your friend Petra. No one could get away. It destroyed my home too. I barely got away. It needs to be stopped. Still hope. Come along. Yeah. Everyone else is still inside. Boy, can't remember the last time I saw this place. Would someone care to explain what he is doing here? Hey, no, see she talk. Well, this isn't going to go well. Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little adventure of his own while you were gone. An adventure to get him? Did you know about this? Why didn't you tell me? You did this on purpose. Well, I'm going to... This is a problem? You bet it is. I will not work with him. Not after... Man, mm -hmm. was well, let's not talk about it. Look, just wait here a second while I figure out what's going on. Much appreciated. So, right. who are you then? And why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? No. That's Jesse, my best friend. Trust me, Jesse's totally cool. Hey, Eligard is cool, and she's going to help stop this weather storm. Ellie? <laughs> cool? <laughs> oh, oh wait, 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 you're serious? Oh, wow, that's, uh, that's, uh, woo, ha. oh boy. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the king of Boomtown. Boomtown, oh, We've been bonding and stuff. I've had, like, the best day. 
did you say? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament and... Long story, you had to be there. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnic. Bada-bing, bada-boom! Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now. So, yeah, I'll let Tim take. Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean, but I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus. That's very sweet. Yeah, he's sticking up for me. It's because I'm really awesome and super cool. I'll never understand your fans. Yeah, so just get out of his face and... Whoa, 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 whoa Axel, let's not overstep our bounds. I may not dig her, but I've known her for a long time. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. It was terrifying. It came yes, out of too. nowhere and just destroyed everything. A little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just think it away? You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you, this thing was like nothing I've ever seen. Why? Because it's never come inside one of your little workshops. Magnus, you gotta listen. They're telling the truth about the weather storm. Fine, fine. Picking on Ellie is just making me angry anyway. Thank you. Let's try to find a way to stop this thing, okay? Jesse speaks the truth. We must find a way to defeat that monstrosity. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. Oh, I hate TNT to say it, it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Aren't they? Getting along? Our members of the order. You two can't handle this? Whoa. Give us a minute, all right? We just barely got here. We'll get it. But against such an unthinkable enemy, even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. Only Soren were here. He might have something to do. Oh, Ellie. Not this again. Wait, Magnus. She may have a point. Soren did have certain objects, inventions. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. Fine. What are you thinking, Ellie? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. A formidable bomb. A formidable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F bomb before. F bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F bomb could destroy anything. But I've never it's seen it real. Before. I swear. Uh huh. That sounds so cool. I think you mean dangerous. Dangerous? Cool? What's the difference? You don't know where Soren is. But <laughs> you found Magnus and Eligard. Do you know where he is? Who's at the wall? Let's check with us. Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether. Or the end. But it's worth a shot. He wasn't on the map. All right, there's your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains after the order broke up. That's where he went to keep doing his experiments. He invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. I mean, I never actually went there with him. So why aren't we, are we going? going? Is there some kind of prop? Maybe you walk in.
Wow. Survival. It didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move! Soren, good. It's not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Righteous! We'll get some rest and head out first thing in the morning. Avoiding all the nighttime monsters and everything. If you had seen that monster, you wouldn't be saying that. We need to leave now. I think it's following us, Magnus. And I don't want to risk it Most catching up with us. We have to go now. It's so bad that you're going to just go waltzing out in the woods at night. It's not night yet. We'll just go as fast as we can. I think Magnus might be right. And he's not usually a big fan of safety. Yeah, I don't want the weather storm catching up with us. We should go now. An excellent call, Jesse. And far more decisive than either of us are being. What a coincidence that it's your plan. But fine. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Yo, we haven't really gotten a chance to chat yet. Oh, hello. Gabe over there. Says you saved him from this wither storm. You're pretty tough, huh? A regular iron golem, huh? Leaving the creepers quaking in their boots. <laughs> Did I make you uncomfortable? Hilarious. Kinda wish you had my back before. But whatever. Still seem all right. Ish. What's the deal with your buddy Axel? Can't tell if he's awesome or a little bit of a dork. Too Just look. a little uh, doofy, you know? He's like a little puppy. You don't know whether you want to hug it or just walk away. Axel's one of my best friends. He makes me laugh and he always sticks up for his friends. Interesting. Very interesting. Then why didn't you listen to his plan to come get me? Was I just not your cup of tea or didn't think you could handle it. I do have that effect on people sometimes. Ooh, awkward silence. Always a stunning endorsement. <laughs> I'll try not to hurt <laughs> my feelings too much. Well, just keep on your toes. This is why I said we should have waited till morning. We wouldn't need to worry about any of this crap. At least we're keeping ahead of the wither storm. We can hash all that out later. We got some monsters to fight here, people. Daytime. How far is Soren? It can't be much further. Not much farther. We can make it. You ain't gonna face it. Gabriel. 
Yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Woo! Don't fall, okay? Oh, that is deep. That is very, very deep. Don't go me. and thought I would come down to help. <laughs> Enderman. Them's all value. I didn't think they ever came in groups that big. Sorry if I scared you. glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over and I thought they were doing so well yeah I wouldn't go that far bickering is kind of their deal but hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff what are we gonna do now where should we go let's figure it out Nathan peace Guard the engineer. Gabriel the warrior. If they made a statue of me, I wouldn't choose that pose. I'd look like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gabriel, are you okay? I know it's not the best time. I, I don't want to worry you, but there's something I'd like to discuss with you in private, Jesse. But well, let's put up. I see. risky, but I need to talk to you about a private matter. It's not the easiest thing to bring up. 
I don't want to worry the others. I hope it's as important as you're saying it is. Jesse, look at the state of the world. I would never waste your time with such matters if it wasn't important. I'm so glad to see my old friends together again. I don't want to ruin it with this. What? You may have succeeded in getting me away from the Witherstorm, but I fear it was already too late. That I get. I noticed it not long after you saved me. Tell me, do you know what Wither is? The Wither? No. Of course, no. we've been... No, just Wither. Or wither sickness, to be more descriptive. It is something I've contracted before in my travels, but it always wears off. It seems that Ivor's monster exudes a wither sickness that is decidedly more fatal. Yeah, we're gonna go back and tell the others we can get help. No, Jesse. You can't tell anyone about this. Creeper! Look out! My strength is compromised. I couldn't maintain my hold. I'm so sorry. Jesse, are you all right? Are you hurt? Jesse, go and find the others. Hopefully, you can find a way to get down to me or something. Time to be a hero again. Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you. He must have something useful in here. He has to. Why would he have so many books? Is he just collecting them? He can't have read all of these. <gasps> you. Trying to interfere with my plans again, I see. Your tenacity is commendable, yet misguided. You found your way in here, so now you may find it back out again. What are you doing down here? Being rudely interrupted by you, clearly. I'm here with the order to find Soren's Super TNT. We're gonna take down your Witherstorm. The order? <laughs> Believe me, that plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Out of my way. Move! Sorry, Ivor, I'm... Stop right there, Ivor! Gabriel! You're alive! Against all your best efforts, Ivor. Look at what you've done. I've dreamt 
that even you could be this twisted. Save your posturing, Gabriel. We both of your words have always been hollow, just like the Order. They're not going anywhere anymore. At least not in one piece. The threats pass harmlessly through me. The sword will pass through you. <laughs> It didn't have to go this way, Jesse. You could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me. Now you. going to get by me. Babblers never cease. What's going on? You found Ivor. Stopped him. Hmm. False. You have stopped nothing. Query. Have you ever seen the effects of a splash potion of slowness? Oh, she do well. He's not talking about. Talking about. Do you want to do that? Do you? They can destroy the Wither Storm, but they are mistaken, and it will cost them their lives. That's a case you couldn't do that either. Now I need more. As most of them are scared. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. I guess you can talk to Zero then. The suit of answers all our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Locked in a dark chamber deep in Sauron's mountain, as the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves, would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Gabriel's wither sickness? Well, would they find the a way to defeat the wither storm? Or or they 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 trapped? As it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world, only time will tell.
Assembly required. Ne kartere folytatjuk legközelebb, és antitik antitik. Akkor tudtam, hogy meg is szutam, hogy egy. Jó, ennyi volt már, hogy telefonjuk szavazni.